Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a really cool effect called the rolling shutter effect. Now you can capture this when trying to film the blades of the rotors of a drone. So today I'm going to be using my Mavic Pro drone and showing you this awesome rolling shutter effect. So now normally when filming the propellers of a drone, here's what you'd expect to see. So this is just using my iPhone camera to film the drone as it's flying through the air. Notice how the propellers just kind of look like a blur. That's because with the frame rate that I'm filming, the blade isn't just in one rotation when it takes the picture. It actually is traveling through the air in the same frame of the picture. And so basically you get the light from the propeller here, 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 and here. And so it just looks like a blur through the camera. And so that's why when it's spinning fast, it looks like a blur. Well, what you can do is instead of letting in so much light, you can decrease your shutter speed so that it about matches the speed of the propellers. And if you get it just perfect, you should be able to capture the drone in mid-air flying with all of the propellers looking like they're standing still. But what's interesting, that's not what happens. What you get instead is kind of this distorted weird image that looks like there's like a glitch in the matrix and the propellers are kind of like going through this mere glitching phase. So a while ago the YouTube channel Smarter Every Day made a really cool YouTube video about rolling shutters. I recommend that you check it out. Okay, here we go. Now the reason this is happening is because when the sensor in the camera records the light information, it doesn't just record the whole image all at the same time. What it does is it starts at the top and it records the top row of pixels and then the next row and then the next row and it rasters and moves down in a straight line across the whole image like this. So it starts at the top and moves to the bottom. Now the effect of that doesn't matter much for slow moving things. But for quickly moving things, it actually distorts the image and makes it kind of skewed. So for example, this is a picture taken out of a moving car around 50 miles per hour. Notice that these fence posts are not straight anymore, but that are actually curved sideways. That's because the top row of the fence posts got taken earlier in time than the bottom row of the fence posts, and so it makes it look turned like that. Now when you get some propeller spinning, Here's what it looks like. You can see that you get a very distorted image of the propeller. Now depending on how fast it's rastering down and how fast the propeller's moving, you can get some pretty cool distorted images. And I'd like to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video. If you liked this video and other videos on my channel and like learning, then you'll love Brilliant. Brilliant is a problem-solving website and app with a hands-on approach with over 50 interactive courses. Brilliant's courses have storytelling, code writing, interactive challenges, and problems to solve. It's also built for ambitious and curious people like you who want to excel at problem solving and understand the world. Then head over to Brilliant to sign up for free. 
But if you'd like to sign up for their premium subscription, then click the link in my description for 20% off of their premium subscription. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video is out. Check out theactionlab.com for the Action Lab subscription box and check out the Amazon link for Extreme Garage Science. It's my book where I chose my favorite experiments from my channel that you can do at home. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.